Hey guys, what's up? So you you already know that I love Rubik's Cubes and other types of puzzles like this, but I think it's about time that we look at some of my other hobbies and, you know, you can learn a little bit more about me. So, well, we'll start with the basics. The first thing that you should probably know is that I have a twin brother. Hey guys, I'm his twin brother. Uh... I don't, I'm not really into Rubik's Cubes like he is, but I have uh, Buckyballs, and I like those, and I like to do some other stuff. Alright guys, so our next card, it's, they're game-used cards. So this particular card has a game-used jersey on it. It's authentic, it even has, it says on the back, this enclosed game-worn swatch is guaranteed by Panini America Incorporated. And that's the card company that made it. So, so the one of the hobbies that we like to do as brothers is we love sports cards, mainly basketball. So we're kind of thinking about doing a lot of videos on basketball cards to put on this channel for you guys to see. This could be for for collectors that already have big collections or it could be for begin or for starters who maybe want to get into it but they haven't actually started it yet or it can be for people who have a small collection but they don't really pay attention to it that much so first of all we've been collecting cards for four years but only about two of those years have been active the other two, the cards have just been sitting around collecting dust, and I really don't like that because we've really been neglecting the our cards. They've just been sitting around. We haven't done anything with them, but but we got them out a couple weeks ago and started sorting through them. You know, we're organizing them a little bit more to you know make the collection easier to know where everything is. So for you beginners who maybe want to get into cards, here's the basics that you might need to know. There are several types of cards. Our first card that we have, it's just a normal base card. Nothing special here. If you buy boxes or packs, you'll get this kind of thing probably 8 out of 10 times in your packs. These are worth the least out of all of the types of cards. But yeah. Next one, you'll get rookie cards. Some people also consider them base cards, but I we personally don't. Usually they'll say something like star rookies or rookie card on the front to let to signify you that it is a rookie card. Sometimes you'll have to look on the back and look to see if it says their college team. Um, yeah. So the third is going to be an insert card. This you're going to find one or two out of ten times in your packs. These are not base cards, but they're not the greatest cards either. They're worth more than base cards, but they're not necessarily worth the most out of all of them but they are different it'll be easy to recognize an insert because sometimes they're actually listed on the box or the pack and it it just looks a lot different than the base cards next one it's similar to an insert card and usually they are inserts but they're serial numbered so if you see there that means that it is printed 389 out of 899 in the world. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll even find cards that are one out of one or unique. Alright, guys, so our next card, it's their game used cards. So, this particular card has a game used jersey on it. It's authentic. It even has, it says on the back, this enclosed game-worn swatch is guaranteed by Panini America Incorporated, and that's the card company that made it. So it also has a serial number. It's out of 249. 
So there's 249 in the world. There's lots of variations of game used cards. You could get a patch that might be a piece of their headband, wristband. You can get a piece of the ball, a basketball that they used. Or you could even get a piece of the floor, which is kind of weird, but I think it's kind of cool because, you know, it's just kind of cool to have to show off. And game used cards are just, they're fun to have. Okay, the next card that we're going to go over is an autograph card. This explains itself. It's where a player just autographs their name, maybe a cool saying on the front of the card, and autographs are usually worth more than game used cards. This one in particular is worth $150, which is kind of nice. So there we go. And now our last card that we're going to explain is a card of pretty much everything. This has an authentic jersey right there, two pieces of the, of the ball right there, and two pieces of his hat right there. And it's also autographed, and it's serial numbered out of 50. So these are just way fun to have, and they're really cool. So another thing that you guys might be wondering about after, you know, learning how much your cards are worth is... How do you keep your cards in good condition? Well, one way is pretty obvious, is if you just don't touch them. But sometimes it's fun to touch them and actually look at them, you know? So, what we recommend is um, protective holders. We'll use these cards that we've showed you before. So, there's a lot, there's tons of different protective holders. But, the first one that we're going to go over is called a penny sleeve very it's clear it's it provides a little protection but mostly the only thing it does is keeps the dust off and you might be wondering why it's called a penny sleeve well maybe because it costs a penny you can buy a hundred for a dollar at a lot at pretty much any card shop or anything like that the second one is called a top loader these provide a lot of protection the, these come in so many different sizes. There's ultra thin ones, super thick ones, and anywhere in between. Those we hold most of our rather expensive cards in. But yeah, so we'll stick that back in there and move on. There's so many more that we don't have r right in front of us right now. There's a magnet case that is just two sides of a of just super thick plastic and you and they magnet together so you put the card in one side and you magnet it shut but even beyond magnet holders are screw down holders also two sides if you can see where it splits you put the card in one of the sides and then you use a screwdriver to fill that to screw in the screw obviously so another one, I don't I don't know exactly what these are called, but they're just clip cases. So you can open them up, put the card in and then close it. You know, it opens up just like a book. And then you put in the card and that kind of thing. Alright, so you guys might have some questions at this point, and one of those questions might be, you know, how do I know how much a card is worth? How do I find out? One way you could find out is you could go to a professional collector that's been collecting for a long time, and you could ask them for an estimate. They'll usually be happy to try to price your card for you and estimate the price. But a more accurate way of doing it is going to the books. This is the Beckett, and it's the official price guide of sports cards. So Beckett's, they're list, they list a whole bunch of different types of, you know, card sets and stuff, and they go up by year. They just go in order of the years and in alphabetical order. The first cards priced in the Beckett are the 1948 Bowman cards, so they just kind of go up from there, and you know some cards may maybe you're looking for a card and it's not listed in there 
Well, it might be under the common card in the place that you're looking for, which are usually just a little cheaper than the ones listed, maybe a lot cheaper. This Beckett has more refined searching, and there's not really any common cards listed. There's pretty much everything listed. So we got this old Beckett from a friend. This is an 80s or 90s edition of the Beckett. And we don't, we don't use it to look up prices or anything, but we just like to have it because it's just one of the cool things to have.